Hi, welcome to the series Learn Excel in 24 Hours. In this video, we'll study about some tricks and how to make our day-to-day -day life simple using Excel and certain functions. So the function we are going to use over here is the concatenate function. The file we are going to use is the sample data file and there is a specific objective we have. Now if we look at the sample data file, one of the last fields over there is an email section which tells us for that particular container who is the concerned person who needs to be contacted. So we have a business objective to send an email to all concerned persons uh, regarding some information about the shipment. So I mean, it's very challenging when you have so many rows of data. So what we do is all the email address data that is there in column H, we copy that and paste that in a separate sheet uh, in the same workbook. Now of course we have multiple rows of data and there could be a lot of duplicates. So our first thing uh, that we need to do is to remove those duplicates. So we go to the data menu and click on the remove uh, duplicates option the data header is there as email so you can see all the duplicate values are taken out and we just have the unique values remaining remember when we have to send emails to multiple people we need to separate uh, two email addresses with a comma in between so what we will do is okay we have all these unique email addresses now. Part one is to ensure that each email address is suffixed with a comma. So in uh, column P, we say part one and we put the formula in cell B2 as equal to concatenate A2 comma and a comma under double quotes so that this comma gets suffixed with the data in uh, column a then we use the drag and drop function this is where a little bit of uh, ingeniousness comes in now we come to part two as far as cell c2 is concerned we just put in the formula equal to b2 the real creativity comes in the next step in cell c3 we use the formula equal to concatenate c2 and b3 so in cell C3, what we are telling is the data in cell C3 should first take in whatever data is there in the row above and then take the data from the column to the left. So when you hit enter, see what happens. Now you have two email addresses joined. The email address from the previous row above and the email address in the current row. Now you do the drag and drop function and go to the last row. So what happens is when you do this across the whole thing, in the last row of column C, you will have all the email addresses separated with the commas and an additional comma at the end that we can remove. So now when you go to Microsoft Outlook, just copy this data, paste it over there and uh, take out the last comma so you see within a few clicks you have 500 plus email addresses listed out ready you just now need to draft your mail and then shoot it across so these are some of the applications of uh, excel so you know with a simple ingenious use of concatenate and a few tricks you can make life very very easy for yourself thank you